know, what I'm finding um, is that for me, if I distill it into, into Greg and my leadership and, and the contribution and, and what's my 10 out of 10 thing, it's, it's helping others. I have, a, I have enough empathy for two people. I'm learning to harness that empathy. Um, but in the end, it's, it's to help drive impact. And, and really to help people um, find their best selves. And I think for me, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to realize uh, from the experience and benefits I've had from being coached and from now beginning to coach team members, that that's, a, that's, that's, my, that's my 10, right? I have a, a unique skill set to listen and then a unique skill set to help people uh, see see the things that are in front of them that they can either knock down or go around, um, and and I think that's that's part of my ten here. So really, in a way, it would be coaching teams to build impact. Thank you. Gosh, that's succinctly, perfectly said. That's ex- yeah. I think that harnesses me in a nutshell. Because you know, I think I think today, and we're just got to getting to the end, Greg. We've gone on a on a big journey of how you stepped into the financial services industry from uh, having a, uh, a, a, you know, a writing degree or a, a creative arts degree in writing to wanting to learn about finances yourself. You've gone into an industry where there's lots of people. You, you've gone around building these connective relationships with families and now, and now you've ended up being the leader of what is one of the, you know, the bigger independent RIAs in America. Um, bringing in lots of teams and centering yourself, not just, not so much on building the external relationships now, but the internal relationships and using your heart for helping people coach. And, and really that transforms into coaching people to build impact. I mean, that's a, that's what we've really drilled down today. And you'll do that by engaging them. Um, I think setting goals, helping them set goals but also for them to appreciate the importance of building relationships and connecting with people themselves, because they're not going to have impact if they don't build connection. That's right. Yeah, you have to find a way to, to have these relations. That's, that's right, Hugh. Um, and this conversation helped me peel one more layer of my own onion back, right? That um, I'm, I'm aware of what I'm doing, and I'm aware of what I'm trying to contribute to, um, but but to really dial it down to that word impact um, and 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 results, you know, I tend to always put myself in my engager frame, if you will. But um, it is there is more to it, and it's nice to, to to see it a little deeper into myself through this conversation today, as always. Yeah, and I, I, I think some people out there see the engager style as being a person that just wants to have fun and talk to people, but yeah. you want to do that. But underlying that as well is the competitive drive, and I think that's where you start. We started at the you know the start of this conversation with your dad's sort of acknowledging that you had a fair bit of grit as far as the family is concerned, and it's that competitive drive is where that grit was. You weren't going to give up. Ever. That's right. We're going to get to the goal. Yeah, absolutely. And you're going to do it through people. That's right. And that's, that's been my path uh, for sure. And I, I hope that continues. I, I, I got a lot to learn from you because I think that's the, uh, you know, I'm more of the, uh, the very introverted reserve person. So I have to, to continuously work at that part. There's other things that are natural for me, but um, you know, we, we, we'll talk more about that in, in, in time. But just as we wrap up, Greg, have you got a, a tip out there for people that are listening to this conversation today that you'd like them to take away? Yeah, I think the thing I've learned that's helped me the most, and it's a pretty recent learning, um, uh, and one thing I think is always being open to learning, and we, we really push that in our culture. Um, but I think you know, staying true to you. And, and, and I see a lot of people trying to create a new style or be something they're not thinking it's going to get them somewhere faster or better. Um, and in the end, I think the more we stay true to who we are, 
um, that genuineness is a very powerful engine. And I don't think a lot of people, um, or maybe as many people as could, uh, appreciate that. Appreciate who you are, figure out your lane, and, and, and be the best you can be in your lane. And it doesn't mean you can't grow and stretch and do all these things. Um, but I think if you, if you begin to lose your inner identity on that journey, um, you're, you're likely not going to get to the goals that you really wanted to, that you set out to achieve. Yeah, it's going to be a struggle. So I think the message for everybody is to stay authentic to who you are and build on that. That's right. So, Greg, it's been it's, it's been great spending time with you this afternoon, and you know, I look forward to uh, more conversations, more connection. Sounds great, Hugh. Thanks for all you do for our larger community, too. Uh, DNA is, is have, impacting millions of lives. I really appreciate that, it. That's a pleasure.